bit of an update for September, um, getting the kids into school. And it's, it's Sunday today, but um, we've had a week and a bit of sorting stuff out for the kids. Um, but today we're down at the play park. But I just wanted to say about the, the schoolie. Um, we with Ubu is in, is in infants. Um, it's cost 80 euros so far. Um, you've got, got a letter home that says, oh, 80 euros will cover books and that sort of thing. Um, still waiting to hear what the cost is for Zoe. But this is, a, this is one of the problems. You, you don't know because if they have excursions and stuff, it's all extra as well. But, I mean, it's the same with the UK, mine. But it is nice to actually have a final figure to work with rather than, oh, can you pay for this? And, oh, yeah, we'll just add this and add this. Because we live within three kilometres of the school, which basically means the school bus is free. If you're outside three kilometres, you have to pay. School meals you have to pay for. But I'm still wondering, should we bother or not? Because our kids generally don't eat. Uh, well, we generally don't eat school meals or meals during the day. Because uh, obviously it's not a full day. You know, the kids are in in the morning. Um, at the moment, they will be finished at one o'clock in the afternoon, and so we pick up at three. So, we've got two different time sets as well, which is a bit frustrating. But at the same time, it means we get to spend time with Ubi on his own. Um, so we can, like, on Friday, went and got him some shoes and stuff like that. But yeah, so far it's so good. Next is sorting out the residency papers and everything else I need for Spain. Um, started generating some work online, but I'm still still a few months off being able to make it sustainable.